Hey there, guys. How are you? Welcome to day 196 of Lindell's Luscious Limberings. If you are following me uh, in the, the timing of this, I hope you have a very lovely festive season. I certainly have a lot of feasting, so I'm ready to start moving again. Hey, so 196, um, all going well. This is the last week. Ha! <laughs> that sounds weird. The last week of the Limbering season as we head up to number 200. Fingers crossed. I say fingers crossed not because I want to leave you. As I've said to you before, this has meant a huge, huge, huge amount to me to be able to, to do these sessions with you. Um, but fingers crossed because if we're definitely drawing a line under 200, it means that things are getting back to a normal <laughs> and we're back at Hogwarts. Um, so it's bittersweet, um, but everything hopefully needs to move on forwards. So first day of the week, as you know, just general mobility. We're not going to be doing anything too heavy. I think I mean that today. Uh, just getting everything limbered up again. So if you are joining me with today's playlist for day 196, thanks for a bit. Three, two, one, go. And starting with feet hip width apart, please. Head folding up, but hanging down and just squeezing the shoulders up and down. Keep that chin tucked. Keep it nice and soft. Hey, repeat. And circle. How you doing? Humphreys lost all of his uh, presents, all of their presents. I think they're still looking pretty fine. All right, slightly bent and double tuck in the circles. And we're gonna go forwards now. We really keep that pelvis just hanging super heavy up the spine, letting the wings of the pelvis spread broader and wider. Good, okay, we're gonna go back up to shrugging, but this time up and down. So I'm going up on the toes as well. Four more of those. Good. Okay, we're just going to step to the side. This time we're doing some toe taps. Super light, super whimsical. And as we go, just doing a gentle roll through chicken backstroke. Another set of these. Tracing really big super circles with those elbows. Okay, opening up your straight arm, just watch the Christmas trees around you. And I am doing a little bit of a turn with the shoulders and the chest here. And going forwards. And forwards, funky chicken. Good, we're gonna stay in the middle and double time chicken backstroke. Keep it light. So I have with a nice little light knee bend, knees are going up over the toes. And going forwards with the elbows now. Bending over slightly. We're gonna do another set of eight of these. And what I want you to do is to start to lean over a little bit more broadly across the shoulders, sticking the butt bones out. Super windy outside. Going backwards, coming up. Good, and just going back to straight arm backstroke. A little bit of a weight shift now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good. And just in center, double arms with the knee bend. So starting to bend a little bit more. Broadening across the chest. Really soften the jaw. Soften down the front of the throat, all the way down the sternum into the diaphragm. And then let go of those belly muscles. 
Go forwards with the arms. The arms might be getting a little bit tired now, but think about relaxing them. Lovely. We're just going to go, the chest is going to go forwards and back. Just tiny, because we haven't done too much mobility of the lower back yet. So just teasing front to back. And side to side, just waiting for the music. So much more satisfying when you hit the downbeat. Again, just lightly. It can help sometimes to put that finger there just to know what point you're moving around. All right, circles. And just be aware of the feeling of the abdomen also articulating while you're doing this, helping you get that movement. And imagine that dot when you're moving is moving on a flat surface. And change direction, just making a perfect circle going as far forwards as it goes back. Good, now with the arms we're going to go forward for our isolation hug and then opening out. Iso hug, spine going backwards, fingertips going forwards and again, wait for the music and double time. And hug, jack on flying, hug, jack on flying, double time. So use the spine and the sternum here. Good, reaching up, rolling down, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, we're going to go straight back up again, and eight. Stepping into the vertebra on top of the other as if you're lining them up on a wall behind you. And again, going down. Make sure as you're rising up, the butt feels like it's sinking. Back up again. Good, bring the feet in. So now we're going to rise up on the toes. Stay there, bend the knees, put the heels down. Then come up, again, toes, bend the knees, heels, and up, hands, side, knees, and up. Ooh, that's, that's, that's the sound I make when I go off balance, and then I tell you, stay on balance, stay on balance. Up. If it's too complicated with the arms, just do the legs, go from side arm. Going up, side, heels down, back up, again. Last one. Good, now just roll up the shoulders, we're going to reverse that direction. So, they're going to go down first, bring the hands forward, then go out onto the toes, then we're going to rise up, and then down. So we're gonna go down, sorry, down first, <laughs> then onto the toes, then we go up, into the side. So, down, toes, up, and down. down. Again, if the arms are too complicated, take them out. Just do the feet, and again. Stay on balance. <laughs> Good, all right. Just gonna do some broad swings. You can bring your arms out further. I'm just watching uh, Humphrey. Into swings. So start to get a bit more of a breadth between your feet as you're warming up. Stretching up, relaxing out those ribs. If you keep going with this, if you can, a bit more of a turn behind you, only if you're feeling warmed up. Lifting up on the outside blade of the leg so you're not getting any pressure on the inside of the knee on that straight leg. Damn it! <laughs> keep going. Thought I was going to get through a whole series without doing that. Good. Rolling down. Four, eight, seven, six, five. I'm a movement professional. Going up. 
into a push. That's the problem with mobility week. It's always going to be so much more <laughs> invasive with the surrounding space. <laughs> so actually just fingertips up. Sorry, Humphrey. Take it across the body now, same arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, stay there, we're gonna stretch. So fingertips up. Good, the other side, fingertips up. Push that palm out. Good, come into the center. Fingertips forward, bump back. And stay and stretch here. Fingertips forward, butt back, relax down. And we're just going to go through, bend, two, and straighten, two. Bend, two, straighten, good, swinging. Good, back to the center again. Then a bend, our legs again, this time put the head up. Bend, two, and up. Two, bend and look, put the head up. Two more of these. Good, back into the center again. Twisty bounces. So one, two, three. Now as you start to warm up, if you like, you can start to separate those hands. Sending that hand underneath towards the opposite foot. Good, seek the butt, come up. And we're just gonna do small bounces. Two, three, four, five, six. Hands to the side, and keep going, but add a ring. Two, three, four, five, six. Good, back down again, just hanging out. Rolling through the shoulders. And popping out one butt cheek in the other. Good. Just bring the legs in a tiny bit so you've got a comfortable A-frame. Bend the knees. We're going to go flamenco. Then elbow someone behind you. Flamenco. Aggressive elbow strike. And again. So we're straightening the legs each time we come up. Good, staying down and windmills. And straight arms. One more set with bent arms. Good, hanging back down, bend the knees, rolling up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to rolling the shoulders. Good. Elbow to knee and down. So we're doing like a sumo squat in between. Keep going. Doesn't have to be a big squat. If you want this to be more of a workout, by all means going to by all means go into a deep squat. Otherwise, just think about mobilizing, giving it light. Send those butt bones out behind. Good, all right, into our swords. Hold the sword aloft. This time, quite often I do an elbow, so I'm actually doing a very good stage combat casting of energy here. Do a few of these, but now let's keep the arms straight. So we have to control that rotation outwards of the arm. I'm not sending the arm past the body, so I'm not damaging that shoulder joint. All right, take it from your shin holster if you can. And the other hand. You can just send the other hand out behind you. I'm trying not to hit Humphrey again. If you can, touch the ground now. I really think about pushing away through that bent leg. Push the ground away. Good, other arm. So starting with casting. So elbow, then wrist. Elbow, then hand, sorry. 
Make sure you don't flick it. You don't want to have a tennis elbow. You're just articulating elbow, then hand. All right, let's take out the sword with straight arms, making sure the arm doesn't go past the body. Three and four, five, six, seven. Good, taking it from the shin holster. And gradually going down lower to the ankle and touching the floor and bring the other arm out behind. Good. Hands together and we're going to go bend and in. Good. Now as we come up, we're going to go bend and twist. Keep the arms where they are. Three, four. If you're feeling pressure on the inner, inner knee, take the stance in a bit. Good, okay, we're now just gonna go circle in and out. Three, four, lifting up towards the head. Six, seven, one more set. Eight, seven, weight should be in the ball of this leg. Five, four, three, two, good. Changing legs, ready for the music. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. One leg out to the side. The thumb. And we're going to go for one, two. Try not to put the foot down in between or just toe tap. Five, six, keep the knee up and we're going to pulse. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Keep it up. And we're going to go one, two, three, eight. And we're going to stay on balance the whole time. Five, six, seven. Good. Other leg. One, two, three. Keep it up and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. And hands behind head and into the crunch. Two, try not to put it down if you can help it. Three, pull that belly button into the spine to help with the balance. Five, because obviously I'm an expert at that. Seven, Go and turn to the side. I'm just going to do little kicks, small ones. One, keep the pelvis tucked under, pelvis tucked under, so you're not getting strain on the small of the back. All right, keep the leg up and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pulse and strain through. So we're going to go up and through. Up. Make sure you control it though, don't just chuck it. Good, other leg. So, one, two, three. Really squeeze those glutes. Five, six, seven. Keep it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it through. So, up. And through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Just wiggling, wiggling out the hips. Just the elbows too. Okay, so we're going to do diagonal step backs. So we're going to go back and up. So my leg's going back into 45. 
All right, now repeat up on the same side. And just bring that knee forward. So I'm going diagonally back. I'm not going up on the toe, is what we sometimes do. And yes, I'm going in the side. If you want, you can bring that elbow through to the knee. Good, other side. Also facing this way. <laughs> okay, cool. So diagonally back and up. Two. Good, bring your head through now. So make sure on the front leg, even though the leg's going diagonally backwards, the knee's still going out over the toe. So you really have to send that back bone behind. Control the orientation of the leg. So it's not wiggling out like this or going weird. Elbow to knee if you've got it. Good, stepping out wide and hips. And front to back. Lovely, rolling down the spine. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. The same for a second. Good, bend the knees, take yourself right into a down dog, just walking through. Hips nice and high. Good, taking across the body. Keep going, I'm just changing the sides. Good, into a plank and just stepping out and then in. Use this opposite leg, step out, then step in. Have the feeling you're trying to push the floor away from you through your hands here. Good, staying here, oblique twists. Good, now we're going to warm up the traps. So just place the knees down and go back, send the elbows towards the knees and then come up. It might feel like you're not doing much, but if you really start to push the floor away with the hands, you can start to get that work on the traps and over the shoulder blades. Also, the more weight you take in the arms, rather than putting it in the knees, you'll get more of a work here. Going. Good. So we're going to just do um, easier push-ups than what we used to. We're just going to lower down, push back into child's pose, and then come up. So we're going to do it over kind of four. So we go down, two, three, four, up, and back, and again, elbows behind you. Three, four, push back into a child's pose, back up into a plank. A few more of those. Down, two, three, four. If you want, you can do these on your knees the whole time. And down, two, three, four. Down, good. Back, to, back, back up into all fours and cat cows. And down. Good. Now we're going to go up and then pull back. So up, two, pull back. And up, back to level. And again. Good. We got the butt. Lovely. All right, let's do some donkey kicks. So leveling off the spine. I'm just going to go up. Try not to put the leg down if you can help it. If you'd like to, bring the knee forward a bit more. Just make sure you replace it before you bring it up so you're not just sort of whacking the leg up. So you kind of go up, center, in, center, up, center, in, center. All right, we're gonna keep on this legs. Keep it out straight. Just bend it to 90 and back. Two. 
Pull that belly button deep into the spine. Push the floor away from you with the hands. From here, just into toe taps. One, two, three, and then to the side. One, keeping it low to the ground. Three, V's up to the side, up to the side. Raise the leg up to the side. Let's remember all of that on the other side now. <laughs> Good. So just a few donkey kicks for free. And you bring the knee forward. Keep going. Again, be specific if you're bringing that knee forward. Make sure you align the knee before it comes up so you, that heel is going towards the ceiling. Takes a bit of control. All right, keeping the leg out straight and bend. Just a 90, two, three, four, we can do eight, five, six, seven, good, the toe tapped. One, two, three, good. Keep it low to the side for four. Just two, three, four. And V's. Two, three, good. Keep it high and we'll go out. Two, three. Four, bring the knees back in, wiggle out. Key leg raise. One, two, just four, three. And other side. So we have been working the arms all this time. Other leg, bring it forward. One, two, three. Other side. Last thing we're doing on the arms. Two. Three. Good, back into a child's pose and relax. So those individually aren't particularly challenging, but once you lump them all together, the sustained work along with our clumsy butts with the um, arms just starts to give you a little bit more of a bit more of a fatigue, relax with the hips, and we're gonna row. Oh, hold on for you, I'm so sorry. Keep rowing, I'm just going to fix home recovery. Good, and then wide arms. Keep your left arm straight, I'm just bending mine so I don't just take home free again. Good, on the floor. Now we did this before, so we're just going to do, I should go from a tabletop. Now, with the knee that's up, squeeze the hand in. So you're pushing that knee into the hand. Obviously, the harder you push, the harder the work. But this is really good for working at the back. A few more of these. Good, both legs out. And we're going to go in, two, and out. And bring in the arms. So I have that feeling of pushing the small of the back into the ground. Bursting that balloon or drawing that big old clock face. Good, alternate arm and leg. So try and touch the shin if you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Good, we're going to come up into a bucket and just twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rolling back down, bring the knees to chest. And just 
Circle those knees around. And the other way. Good, knees down, just up into bridge. And down. We're going to use this actually as a recovery, a bit of a stretch. So think about relaxing out through the flexors rather than working too hard with this. So think about standing. You can have the hands up or you can have them on the floor to help support. Good. Knee on the top and just give a little bit of a gentle agitation. Good, changing over. Good, rolling over. And just pop one leg forwards. And we're going to just thread the needle. So the same arm as leg up and through. We're going to do four with a straight arm. And then fall with a bent arm. So now bend the arm, put it behind, behind the head up. And then try and bring that elbow all the way. Sorry, well, the elbow to the elbow. Elbow to the forearm. That'll be the last ones we're going to do with the foot off the ground, the knee off the ground. Good, from here, just we're gonna rock back and forwards. Let's go on your own time. Good, settling back and change the leg over. One foot in front of the other, same arm as leg. Up and through. So four with the arm straight, four with the arm bent. Three, four, and arm behind the head. One, two. And tucking the foot under, lifting knee off the ground. Four more of these. Good, knee down. Rocking back in through the dynamic stretch. Just go in your own time. Good stuff. Okay, just put that butt on the ground. And we will take the feet out far in front of us. And elbows and knees, belly button upwards and forwards. Just work those knees towards the floor. Hopefully getting a nice stretch on the butt and opening through the small of the back. And then bring the heels towards the pubic bone. I will just go through some light butterfly flutters. Nice and easy. And then chest up as and forwards, just leaving yourself down. If you want, you can do a slight agitation round if you're feeling that your small of the back is secure. So not only can you get a nice rotation through the straps with the in the thigh, you can also start to feel a little bit of a stretch on either side of the spine, across the small of the back, even possibly going down towards the top to the butt cheeks. And then settle into a static stretch. Good, use your hands to help you come up and close the legs. Oh yeah. And you're just gonna pop the back up into this one and the stretch out, a static stretch with the backs of the legs. 
starting off with the foot out in front the last and then nice and gently I'm just going to bring it the toe up and then lean forwards again and then creeping forwards up into a hip flexor stretch if you like we can just open and close that front leg drop the knee down and just extend extend that stretch a little further I'm totally projecting on you because I need stretching <laughs> and then leg up relaxing down Tell you what, so I think I had four days without exercise, without you know a kind of training or limbering session. And after having done five days on, two days off for a very long time now, I'll tell you what, my body was pretty twitchy by the end of that fourth day. Good and stretching forwards. And leg down and just bring yourself up and then extend through that hip flexor stretch. Lovely. To top it off, we're going to do one of the best stretches in the world into our down dog. So wrists onto shoulders, knees onto hips, tuck the toes under, lift up. And just think the directions of the butt bones going towards the ceiling and the backs of the thighs going on the walls behind you. Let the heels sort themselves out, relax through the neck. Soften the knees, walk the hands, the feet into the hands. And just a few cycles of bending and stretch. So either have the hands on the floor or behind or somewhere in the leg where you can reach. Just bend the legs and lift the butt bones towards the ceiling. So don't think so much about straighten, straightening the legs. Think about lifting through the butt. And just go until you start to find a stretch. Keep the head nice and lengthened. And then release again. Okay, bend the knees, now I'm just going to breathe in to look forward and lengthen, and back down, and again. Two more of those because they're awesome. Last one. Beautiful, and then either by breathing in or breathing out, rolling up through the spine, stacking the spine. Good stuff. Oh my god, that one's down. <laughs> Mobility days, done. Uh, great. Uh, hey, thanks for joining me again. You've come this far, so that's pretty bloody awesome. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. In the meantime, please be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Lots of love. Bye.